The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Tuesday, January 24, 2023, and giving you our team pick for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos and make sure to watch it till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Also check out our Patreon if you want access our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link in description and comment section below. Indiana Pacers vs Chicago Bulls. The Tuesday NBA schedule will tip off with a matchup between the Chicago Bulls and the Indiana Pacers from Gainbridge Fieldhouse. This will be the second of a back-to-back -back for Chicago, who outscored Atlanta by 11 points during the fourth quarter to pull away for a 111-100 home victory last night. The Bulls, 22-24, assisted on 28 of their 44 made field goals and shot 46% overall. I don't think I can back Indiana until Halliburton is back in the lineup, as the Pacers have looked like a completely different team without him on the court. They have not only lost seven consecutive games, but they have only covered the spread once during that stretch. Their losing skid has almost entirely coincided with Halliburton's injury, so I am looking to stay away from the Pacers. This is also not the worst scheduling spot for Chicago, even though it is the second leg of a back-to-back. -back. Out team pick is Chicago win. The Bulls had four days off following their trip to Paris, giving them a rested roster heading into this two-game stretch. Miami Heat vs Boston Celtics In the first game of a Tuesday night NBA on TNT doubleheader, the Boston Celtics will invade FTX Arena to take on the Miami Heat. This will be the second of a back-to-back -back on the road for Boston, who was outscored by 14 points during the second half of last night's 113-98 loss against Orlando. The Celtics, 35-13, were dominated in the paint by a 54-32 margin and allowed the Magic to shoot 51% from the field. The Celtics are 2-1 against Miami this season, including a win in their only trip to South Beach. In addition, the Celtics are 7-0 this season in the second game of back-to-backs. The Seas should see the return of Brogdon and Smart Tomro Knight, which will strengthen their backcourt depth and defense. The Celtics' wings have given the heat fits all season, and I expect that to continue in this matchup. Our team pick is Boston for the win. Boston is unlikely to put together a string of low-scoring games, and the Heat don't have the firepower to match the Celtics' scoring. New York Knicks vs Cleveland Cavaliers The world's most famous arena will play host to a Tuesday night NBA clash between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the New York Knicks. The Cavaliers, 29-19, are five games below .500 on the road and trail Brooklyn by one full game for fourth place in the Eastern Conference standings. On Saturday, Cleveland outscored Milwaukee by 12 points over the last eight-plus minutes to earn a 114-102 home victory. Both teams have had their struggles of late, but the Knicks are reeling with four straight losses on the books heading into this game. New York missing Robinson is going to cause an issue for them, as that gives Mobley along with Allen the advantage in the low block. Cleveland took care of business against Milwaukee without Mitchell as other guys stepped up, which is something that is important for the team. Getting Rubio back is a boost for the second unit, as it gives them a playmaking guard that can facilitate for the other guys on the floor. New York has been sputtering and trying to get by on defensive play. That won't work against a team that is the best in the league in scoring defense. Our team pick is Cleveland Cavaliers. Take the visitors in this one as they make it two straight wins. Denver Nuggets vs New Orleans Pelicans. This Tuesday, the 33-14 Denver Nuggets will travel to New Orleans, La to take on the 26-21 New Orleans Pelicans. Tip-off will be at 8 o'clock p. Eastern Standard Time inside the Smoothie King Center. This will be the second time that these two teams have faced off this season, as the Pelicans won the first meeting 121-106. The Denver Nuggets are entering this game after falling to the Oklahoma City Thunder, 101-99. They struggled on the offensive end of the floor, as they will have to heat up if they want to challenge the Pels on the road. The New Orleans Pelicans are coming into this one after losing their fourth straight game to the Miami Heat. They struggled on the offensive end of the court, as they will need to be more efficient on offense if they want to stun the Nuggets at home. I am going to roll with the Denver Nuggets, and I am going to take the points, plus 
Both of these teams are dealing with injuries, but Denver has a chance of getting Jokic back on the floor. If he plays, then I love the Nuggets even more. But, even without him, I still see the Nuggets getting the job done in this game. The Pelicans have lost four straight coming into this one, and they have not looked the same on the offensive end of the court without Ingram or Williamson. They will continue to struggle in this one, and the Nuggets will slowly pull away. Denver is also lead on the offensive end of the floor, as they have the third highest adjusted offensive rating, and they are scoring the sixth most points per game. New Orleans will struggle to slow them down, and Denver will score enough points to cover this spread. Our team pick is Denver Nuggets plus 1.5 points. The Pelicans haven't been the same without their stars, and the Nuggets have the offensive advantage in this game. Dallas Mavericks vs Washington Wizards. The Washington Wizards look for their third consecutive victory on Tuesday when visiting the Dallas Mavericks. Washington is 20-26 and third in the Southeast Division, five games behind the first place Miami Heat. Washington defeated the Orlando Magic 138-118 Saturday night. Rui Hachimura was the leading scorer for Washington with 30 points, while Kyle Kuzma chipped in with 25 points. I will be taking the Dallas Mavericks, minus 6, at home, as I see them being able to dominate on the offensive end of the court in this game. The Wizards could also be without Porzingis, which will hurt them on both ends of the floor. He is currently their leading scorer, and Washington has continued to struggle offensively. They are only scoring the 23rd most points per game, and they have struggled to shoot from the outside. Dallas is allowing the 12th least amount of points per game, and they have shown that they can defend on the perimeter. They will make it difficult for the Wizards and keep them from scoring enough points to cover the spread. Now, I don't see the Wizards showing up defensively either. They have struggled to defend on the perimeter, and they are holding their opponents to the 15th least amount of points per game. Our team pick is Dallas Mavericks minus 6.5 points. The Mavs will be highly motivated to bounce back, and they have the fifth highest adjusted offensive rating in the NBA. They will continue to attack, and I expect Luka to play great in this one. Phoenix Suns vs Charlotte Hornets. The Charlotte Hornets play the second half of a back-to-back -back on Tuesday when visiting the Phoenix Suns, after playing on the road Monday vs the Utah Jazz. Charlotte is 13-34 and last in the Southeast Division, 12 one-half games behind the first-place Miami Heat. Charlotte defeated the Atlanta Hawks 122-118 on Saturday. Charlotte overcame a third-quarter deficit of 19 points to win. I am going to pick the Phoenix Suns at home, and I am going to lay the points, minus 6.5. Aiton is currently listed as questionable, but I am hoping he plays, as he is listed as questionable with an illness. The Hornets have also been one of the worst teams in the NBA this season, as they have struggled on the defensive end of the court. They won't be able to stop the Suns consistently throughout this game, which will allow them to slowly pull away. Charlotte currently has the 27th lowest adjusted defensive rating, and they are surrendering the 28th least amount of points per game. The Hornets are also 8-18 on the road this season, as I don't see them showing up for this game. The Suns will be able to find different ways to score on them, and they are also better on the defensive end. According to dunksandthrees.com, the Suns have the 11th lowest adjusted defensive rating, and they are holding their opponents to the 8th least amount of points per game. Our team pick is Phoenix Suns minus 6.5 points. The Hornets could also be without Lamelo Ball in this game, as I don't see them scoring enough points to cover this spread. Los Angeles Lakers vs LA Clippers. The LA Clippers look for their third consecutive victory on Tuesday when playing at the Crypto.com Arena as the visitor against the Los Angeles Lakers. The Clippers are 25-24 and second in the Pacific Division, three games behind the first-place Sacramento Kings. The Clippers defeated the Dallas Mavericks 112-98 on Sunday behind 30 points from Kawhi Leonard and 21 points from Paul George. I'm looking at this game from an availability perspective. For once, the Clippers are the less banged-up team. The Lakers are missing Austin Reeves, Anthony Davis, and Lonnie Walker IV. Oh, Lebron James is also questionable by the way. Meanwhile, the other LA team is only out John Wall and Luke Kennard. Historically the Clippers have owned this matchup, covering the spread in 9 of the last 10 games in the battle for Los Angeles, including the last 4 in a row. Now if we knew for sure that Lebron was playing then that might give me pause on taking the Clippers here, as I do think the Lakers have been in better form in recent weeks. 
Our team pick is Los Angeles Clippers minus 4 points. Still, as it stands I'm rocking with Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers to find the win and cover once again versus the Lakers.